Hey there, uh, I'm going to show you quick how to uh, change the headlight in these custom chopper five and three quarter inch headlights and they're similar on the smaller ones too because uh, 99% of the time there's no instructions and people are asking me how do you get that bulb out so you got to burn that bulb here in this chopper let's go ahead and fix it. First off this bezel cover it's a good idea on this one I normally don't wear gloves but on this I am because I don't want to touch the bulb itself. But this bezel cover is, a lot of times people will silicone this in. Makes it very, very, very difficult to get off. I like to actually grease it. I even use anti-seize is what I'm actually using to lubricate it. And I just know that this is a maintenance item that I need to go back and tighten this up. I'm not a fan of the silicone, but do what you want. So here, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on here and just turn this off. This has threads. This is basically just a large diameter nut. You're going to spin it quite a bit. All right, once this is off, uh, think about its chrome, be careful, set it off to the side. The next step is to get yourself a couple of small punches and to, uh, you're going to see here where you need to put it inside of this trim ring and that's how you're going to take the headlight out. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So now you can see there's three of these holes in there to put your uh, punch in and I've had a lot of good luck with just two of them so let's see how that works so then you get inside a couple of these like so and if this has been properly anti-seized or even greased this isn't terrible to come out so then you're just gonna twist it like that once you get it free I just recommend getting to one Obviously this is a source of definite water contamination with uh, the fact that it's the headlight so it's going to be uh, sometimes difficult to do. So we'll get that off to the side. Now you want to be careful at this point. I've been in here and I know you know that this isn't going to fall out because I am attached. I have seen where that electrical connector back there has come off and as soon as you take that trim ring off, boom, the headlight's off and in your lap and then you're having a bad day. So back here we just go ahead pull that off and now we're gonna focus on the bulb itself so what we have here is a hook system that retains it in here and these man these bulbs just don't last on these choppers everything's rigid mount it just shakes the heck out of the filament so not fun but you push this off to the side okay I'm off now you can see the little hook here that's catching. Flip this out of the way and you pull your ball out. I want to make a point here that when this is installed correctly, there's a couple different things. I've seen everything you could imagine here. These three tabs are located to put the bulb, and this is for safety as well, to put the bulb so it has the best view down the road. You can see the triangle deflector in here. I see these bulbs come in like this, like that, or whatnot, and it's, it's shining the headlight, not only unsafe for your vision, but obviously for the people coming at you as well. So the ultimate position is to put the bulb in correctly. You know, you can accidentally do this, and this will still lock down, okay? I mean, that's just a thin piece of wire, so it can be put in incorrectly. So let's go ahead and switch the bulb out. I'm replacing it with one of these uh, intense blue lights, if you will. I'm just going to get that wire to hook around, fill it snap, then do this, check it. Life is good, so we know our bulb's good and secure. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure and put some uh, dielectric grease on the uh, headlight connector itself. I like to take some anti-seize and go ahead and just real, 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 real lightly brush the threads. I uh, know that these bulbs don't last. I know they're going to come loose, so I know to maintain it, and I want to be able to make life easier when I go back together. So with that greased, I can go ahead here and get my connector on, nothing fancy. Make sure you have a good, firm connection on there. At this point, I could just rest it in here. It's not so important on the alignment at this point because I need to switch back to my trim ring. Cannot stress this enough. On installation, 
make sure your punch marks are out. If you start to thread this in and it gets caught, you got nothing to get it out. So pay attention. Attention to details are important here. And sometimes it can be tricky. Notice I'm not using the punches. I want to do this by hand, making sure it'll start so I don't cross thread it. Okay, I'm started. So now from there, if I want to speed the process up and go back to my punch and go ahead and... Now notice how nice that's working right now because of the anti-seas on there. At this point, I do need to start thinking about how I'm going to line that bulb up. So I want to go ahead and square this up. Okay, looking, looking pretty good right there. So now I'm going to hold it in place so it won't rotate on me. Tell you, if this is coming loose, this is just going to bang around. It's definitely going to shorten up that life cycle. So now that I'm to the end here, I'm going to go ahead and really get snugged up. Kind of keep tapping on this. And sometimes you'll find you'll get a little extra movement out of it. Good and tight. At this point, I can take these gloves off. They're really just so that you don't touch the glass and the bulb. Hey, 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 another tip before doing this any further. I'm actually a little bit ahead of myself here. Before you fully assemble it, make sure that bulb's good. You got brand new bulbs that are no good. Going high, I can keep going forward. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure. I don't know if you could probably hear that in the video, but there was like a snap or a click. And you notice how I'm going back and forth and back and forth? I am making for dang sure that I'm not cross-threading this and that I got good threads that I'm working with, okay? If you have any grunt, you know, junk or bug guts or grime or anything that's gotten down in there, maybe from touching things, stop, clean it off, check your work. All right, that is how you change the uh, light bulbs in here on these assemblies of these commonly found uh, chopper headlights, I call them, cafe lights, whatnot. But uh, thanks for watching the channel. Stay tuned, keep on wrenching, and make it a great day. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.